It's time to quilt. Join me today as I share some tips and tricks of the trade. Hi, Amy with Experience the Quilt. Today we're going to finish quilting the quilt we've been working on in our art quilt series. I have a lot of yard work going on in the background, so you might see people walking by. Um, we're doing some yard remodeling. Um, but I want to, and I've got my cozy sweater on today because it's kind of chilly out. But today I wanted to share some tips and tricks with you about quilting and um, long arm quilting. I do have a domestic machine and I have done some quilting on that and I will do a video on that another time. But today we're focusing on long arm quilting just because that is my favorite way of quilting now and I have it at my disposal. So I'm going to turn the video and let you see some of the tricks that I do, and then I'm gonna just put it on a time lapse and you can watch me quilt. Okay, so I've got our quilt loaded onto the long arm machine. Long arm machines are great for sewing, quilting anything. I love thread painting with it. I love quilting. I do edge to edge quilting um, at, for our business. I do all kinds of things with it. I just absolutely love it. They are powerhouses. So what you need to do is, if you have one, you get your back loaded on your batting and then you baste your top to the backing. Um, I baste all the way around it so I can roll it back and forth and move it where I need to. I have a very large throat space and so I don't want to um, have to reach clear across my throat space to quilt. I, you, lose less, you lose control when you do that. So I actually like to be able to roll it back and forth. So I'll work on this lower part and then I'll roll the machine and work on the upper part. So I'm not reaching too much. Um, I also put on a really large back because whenever I'm doing a smaller quilt, I try to save up my smaller quilts so that I can load several at a time and um, just do all my quilting in that in that session may not be one day it may be a couple days but i like to get them when i'm in a quilting mode i like to stay in quilting mode or if i'm in piecing mode i like to stay in piecing mode that works best for me and rather than my having my mind jump back and forth and when you have little quilts it's not so fun to load small ones on the machine it works so much better if you have a large space that you can a large backing on so it's almost like a canvas you can you can use it to put a piece of scrap fabric up here and mess around with your tension try out colors and such so that's really helpful so I have another batting up here that is ready for um, another art quilt that I will be working on getting quilted um, while I'm in this quilting mode um, and it may take me a few days um, it's according to how much time I have so I've got it basted and I have a really low loft. This is a 100% um, cotton uh, warm and natural that I'm using for my batting. Um, you can even use flannel if you don't want a lot of loft to a wall quilt, which sometimes you don't, um, especially if I'm gonna be framing it or hanging it in, or putting it on a canvas. I don't like a lot of thick batting, so I will often use flannel as my batting. So another tip I have for you as you're trying to decide how you want to quilt this, uh, your art quilt, is um, I suggest getting, this is called a boogie board. I love these things. I found mine at a grocery store at Christmas time. You can get them on Amazon. Um, I'll try to remember to post a link um, in the comments below so that you can um, know where to find one. But I, they're called other things too, but I know mine is a boogie board brand. And basically this one is a special one because a lot of them come with backing on them. So they're not see-through, but this one is, I don't know if you can tell on the video, but this one is a see-through. And I love it because I can lay it on whatever I'm doing, whether I'm doing you know a block or, or especially these art quilts. And I can see my quilt through it and I can test out what quilting design I want on it. So this is, it comes with a little, um, a pen that has just a hard tip. So a couple of tips I forgot to tell you is always switch to a open toed foot if you have one. I had my glide foot on there and that is not the one that you want to have when you're free motion quilting. Um, also remember that you are looking really close at this quilting and you're going to see every little mistake that nobody else is. So really try to take a deep breath, relax, and not focus on every little mistake because as you hang that beauty on the wall, no one's gonna see the little mistakes like I just made there and it's gonna look just gorgeous. So let's have some fun.
is our finished quilt and I think it turned out really pretty. I started with flowers in the right hand corner and I also brought them over to the left side to kind of tie it in. <clears throat> but then I decided to do just some fun wavy lines at the top. And it's a little bit different than I normally do, but you know, that's every art quilt. I kind of just do things a little different. I like to go off of the type of fabrics that I have. So since there was floral fabrics in the top, I decided to do some floral in the bottom. And I thought it was just a really happy design. Um, I decided to do some thread painting on the shading of her dress. So I used some white thread because I wanted to lighten up the shading a little bit because I didn't like how dark it turned out. And I decided to do some thread painting near her hair to give her a little bit of shadowing. I used some variegated thread in her hair and I really liked the, the added texture and color it gave that. I decided to outline her face and her hands. I wasn't going to, but I decided it looked a little weird to not have that be the only place that didn't have any quilting on it. Um, I made some little mistakes and a famous quilter, who I can't remember her name, years ago told me that when you outline something or you make a mistake, go over it three times so that it doesn't look like a mistake, it looks like it was purposeful. So I did that, especially on her hands, I went over it three times. And you can't notice it from far away. Um, you just don't, it doesn't make a difference. Now I know you've got those extra quilt tops laying around in your studio that need to be finished. At experiencethequilt.com, you can place an order and drop off or ship those quilts to us and we will quilt them up or couch them. Check it out.